I'm the homeowner, man. Arrest that cocky little bastard. So, here's the thing. I forgot my name. <laughs> we forgot your name. Yeah, I've got a medical condition. So, imagine this. One of us, let's say, for argument's sake, me, is a ho is a burglar, and you two, homeowners, like, who live together or whatever, flatmates. You hear a noise in the night. So I'm walking around your house with a flashlight, looking for things to burgle. I shoot you. One of you calls the cops, and the other one grabs a knife to protect themselves. Please raid the house. The innocent person has a knife, and the guilty one has a torch. Let's see what they do. Give me a flashlight. Yeah. Do you want to try that? Um. I was going to say Franklin's house, but that's mostly glass, isn't it? That wouldn't work. Trevor's trailer. Eh, Michael's man mansion. Yes, Michael's. I actually really like that idea. <laughs> so, do you... so what's going on? Sorry, I kind of zoned out. I was being talked to. So you and Troy uh, live together, like renting yeah. or whatever, and I'll be a burglar. You you hear a noise, so one of you, let's say for argument's sake, Troy calls the cops, and another one grabs a knife and to protect themselves and starts searching around the house, but you don't find me. I'll be looking around the house with a flashlight to see f to look for things to rob, and the police turn up and raid the house. The innocent person's carrying a knife, and the guilty person can sneak out the back of a torch and see if they can get away with it. Do you like Do you like that idea? Could be interesting. So why don't you go to Michael's house and make yourself at um, home? Where is Michael's house? You really are bad, aren't you? It is at seven zero six three. I keep hearing a train horn, but I never actually see the train. Gotta love five M. I'm gonna yeah, get a character set up. Oh wait a minute! I'm just a retired, or not a retired, uh, off-duty officer. Why don't I just have my gun? Because then I get shot. Although, yeah, actually, actually, we're not going yeah, actually, actually, we to we're not gonna escalate to that. I promise. I was hoping you wouldn't actually find me. What if you go down the stairs searching? Meanwhile, I'll be in the third bedroom. Because you'd Wait hear. An... Who's playing the bad guy? Me. Okay. Right. Let's let's run this through so we're all clear. <clears throat> I'm I'll bad guy. I'm bad guy. Matthew's calling the cops. And you're the person with the weapon since you're an off-duty cop. Yeah. I'll break in downstairs. You'll hear a noise. So you'll give it a few minutes to find your gun. And I'm going to go up the stairs into, say, Tracy's bedroom. And we'll be in the master bedroom. Yeah. And then you'll come out with your gun and start searching downstairs while Matthew's calling the cops. Police come in, they see you with a gun, obviously they're gonna go for you. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and sneak out the back. Or hide. And then I, and I'll turn I'll just TV. tell them that I'm alone for the night. My flatmate has gone. I don't know, no Amazing. fucking titty par. Yeah, that's it. That'll work, that'll work. Yeah, that right. actually sounds like a good scenario. Matt's home alone, I'm out. I'm out and about, and um, Nick could be the burglar. Yeah. So you guys go down or to Michael's like, house. I get the motion sensor like someone's invading my house, like what's supposed to be, and I go like, all right, let me see here. Sees no one. I see a shadow. Like, okay, I gotta go home. I'm in my bed. I piss if you was at the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> and You're Michael's right. I don't know. Is this Michael's house? Is it a mansion? It's a bedroom. Is the bedroom in a mansion? No, it's in a house. I hate you. It's got. Okay, I'll describe the pictures on the wall, okay? 
That won't help. There's yes, it will. So there's one of them. It's two girls. One of them in a black dress. The other one in a blue tank top. And they're kind of hugging. And then the other picture beside that is there's three people. It's uh, it looks like a two girls and a guy. They could be three girls because the last one looked like it had his boobies. <laughs> Hold on. There's a mirror. Oh, there's a chandelier on the roof. And then the walls are like purple. You mean the ceiling. The ceiling, yes. Um, there's a pink lamp. Um, there's a red robe hanging in the closet. Oh, and there's a little blonde girl picture on the wall there. Do you see that in the text chat? The no. fire guy just failed the BCSO and chains up the doors with the notices because it filled this fire inspection. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, the text chat. That's the best thing I've read in ages in there. Yes. Begins yep. inspecting BCSO for fire code. Fails BCSO and chains up the door with notice. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> Guess somebody didn't have anything to do today. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a pretty good idea. What? Try and keep the cop in the living room so we can't see into the corridor if there's only one cop. And I'll try, try and keep him like in the living room? Yeah, where he can't see the stairs and I'll try and sneak out the front door. So if I can sneak out the front door, I can get away with this. And that would be cool. What are you what are you driving your Crown Vic? Yeah. It's the most sketchy car I could think of. Alright, I'm I'm like half a mile from the uh from the location. Okay. My uh, where I put it. And I'm a very brazen thief, robbing you in broad daylight. I'm gonna wash my car though, because it's very dirty for no reason. Which is bullshit. But yeah, you can start now if you want. I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm driving to the house now. It, as I said, though, it will be nice to have a scenario which isn't all high-speed pursuits and shooting people and shit. Like this well, mine's is... not all about high-speed pursuits. It's actually going to be a slow pursuit. Well, yeah, I know your next scenario, but it, it, it's nice to have something realistic. Like slow and steady. Yeah, like a realistic. This is a realistic roleplay scenario. This happens in real life quite a lot. Do you know I once lived in a really rough area called Summerton, and instead of breaking my window, all he did is bring chisels and chisel the frame out of the wall, so they just left a big hole in the wall. The window was fine. I just had to glue it back in. This is the place. It's a very nice place. Ooh, I need the keys to that. Um. Motion sensor gets activated. Just let it try now. Oh, the door's open. Yes. Yes, there's no one home. Let's start upstairs. Got my flashlight out. No, that's my night step. That's my machete. Hello. Hello. Shh. Be quiet. Oh um, man, I was in bed. The. Hey, dude. dude, dude, there's there's someone in the house. I hear, dude. Yeah, I hear someone up. Oh my god, they're they're upstairs. Oh my, okay, I'm calling them one. This is so loud. 
what's in here? Fuck. Um. I got some arm genus. Oh yes. Jewelry. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I need to put a bag on. That's what I can do. Player appearance. Um, please tell me I can put a bag on. Accessory. I can't even see what I'm changing. Fuck. Can't put a bag on. Okay. 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 Small stuff. Uh... Not sure if anyone is home. Yes, 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 yes. Um searches nightstand. Oh my god, I saw my reflection in the mirror at the corner of my eye and I shit my pants. <laughs> Oh my god, that that's fucking great. Checks under pillow. No, I was talking in game. I couldn't hear you. Have you guys called nine one one yet? <laughs> yeah, we already did. Yeah, they did. I did. Nice. I'm, I'm now hiding under my bed because I can hear you next door. Yeah, I'm being as quiet as I can, trust me. Oh, you don't have to be. I saw my reflection oh. in the mirror and I shit my pants, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pussy. Genuinely, I saw it out the corner of my eye and I shit myself. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucked up. Writing desk? Right, something I saw before, and I kind of want to check this out. Sunbathe. So if you sunbathe on your front, can you crawl? I think you can. No. Fuck. Grabs hairdryer. No, that's a gun. Flashlight. I know it's middle of the day, but, you know. Silently searches. Drawers? I suppose, I suppose you'd call that. Shit, I heard someone. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's someone here. Shit. in the bathroom. <laughs> Come in here. Shit. Really gonna hurt you if you come in here. Better not come in here. You have to make it creepy. I know that's an oxymoron, but don't worry. Applies force gently. Better not come in here. To win Better not come in here. frame. I'm gonna pop <laughs> God damn it, Matthew. This is so loud.
I think I'm stuck upstairs, guys. Fuck. That's a nice bedroom. I'm surprised Matthew didn't choose this bedroom with a fucking bong. Ah, <gasps> computer stuff. Yes. Pockets, laptop. Come in here. They are not coming here. Come in here. They are not coming here. They are not coming here. Um, Nobody's gonna get hurt. Oh, I hope they oh, don't come in here. That made hope a noise. Oh, I don't know, man. The police are coming, you're gonna wanna leave! I know you're in here, I hear you! Shit. Um. Fuck. I've called the police! Leave! Matt, if you don't shut the fuck up, we're gonna break your legs. Leave while you can! <laughs> Dude, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. I got a guy right here. Right here. Hey, freeze! Right there, sir! Stop, right there. Run. Look at Caddy Knife. Shit. I fell over. Who's out there? Shit. I'm gonna hurt you! Fuck. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Don't have a taser. Don't have a taser. Please don't have a taser. Fuck. I'm Do stuck. Do not move. I'm stuck. Do not move. Shit. I'm the homeowner, man. This is my house. It's your house? Yeah, we'll just wait. Th there's two people in there, man. They I think they're trying to rob the place. Yeah, I got you. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop ragdolling now. I did the same thing going about. Yeah, I've lived here for like 20 years, man. Alright, well, uh, check up, sir. Just confirm uh, roommate's wearing red shirt, black pants. Say what? Wait, what? You got anything on, me, on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, or harm me in any way? Yeah, I grabbed the knife from the kitchen, man. Just in case someone came at me. I don't like people in my house. I also have a nightstick, how am I going to explain that? Oh, and a pistol. Shit. <laughs> Man, how come you didn't tell me you had a weapon on you as well? Uh, I forgot. Out here and, uh... I th I'm totally going down for this. I also forgot to sign into CAD. Uh, dot CAD? No, hyphen. I knew it was wrong. Oh, they're dragging me. That's fine. Gives me time to log into CAD. I, I can't even remember what character I was playing as. I think Nick Burton. Uh, yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -bum. I want to check my car's registered to me. That's the wrong thing. I'm not very good at this. 
crying a bit, crying a bit, crying a bit. Yes! Uh, uh, wh where are we going? At this time, you're being detained. I'm going to place you in the back of my car so we can finish clearing the house. That, that dude there, I think that's here. one of the robbers, man. He broke into my house. Did you enjoy your stay? Arrest that cocky little bastard. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright, for now, I just want you to come up here. I don't want you near him. Garden underneath bathroom window containing. Oh god, what's in the laptop? Jewelry. Diamond ring. And other small valuables. Valuables. That's what they were. There you go. You find a bag in the garden underneath the bathroom window containing a laptop, jewelry, diamond ring, and other small valuables. That Mustang is sexy. Fair play. I do like my Shelby Mustang. I went out and bought one earlier in BCI. Speed enforcement. Yeah, that thing's fast. I'll tell you that for a fact. Yeah, I totally got caught. Hey, you got an ID on you so we can verify uh, ownership of this this property? We gotta be able to verify everybody's name and whatnot. Um. So here's the thing. I forgot my name. We forgot your name. Yeah, I've got a medical it, you're... condition. Well, with all due respect, sir, you want me to believe that this is your house and you've lived here for 20 years. You're not making your case any better by forgetting your name. My name is Steve Giles. I'm the registered homeowner. That's a totally made-up name. <laughs> so are you going to arrest those two for breaking in? Oh my god, look at the police logo on the side of that car. Obey and survive. You want to give me your real name? As I said, it's John Giles. No, uh, Steve Giles. Oh, now it's, jo now it's John Giles. No, it's definitely Steve. I told you, I've got a medical condition. I think it's time to give up. Do I, uh... Maybe... If I gave you some information... Get... A reduced sentence? Maybe? Please? Alright, well at this point, at this point, since since you're being questioned, I'm going to go ahead and read you a few things, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Anything, uh, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the state of Ohio. Alright? Do you understand these rights? Yeah. Do you wish to answer, questioning, uh, answer questions without an attorney present? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's start with your real name. Can I make a deal? <laughs> uh, we may be able to make a deal depending on what information you have, but to start this off, I need your name. Nick. Burton. I want to know what my criminal record's like. Uh, I can't tech. That's good. Alright, Mr. Burton. So... Depending on what information you have and where that information leads me, we may be able to work something out on your the, the charges that you will be facing at this time. Okay. So what is it that uh, that you can take that you can tell me? So, oh, that's the wrong button. So my car is that Crown Vic out back. I'm not actually the homeowner. I know that surprises you. 
And there's a bag on the roof above that nice ass Corvette over there. With all the stuff I tried to borrow without permission. Look, man, I'm short of money. The government screwed me over. So that's the information you're just telling me that you where where the stuff was that you bagged up to take out of their house. Well, yeah. What else do you want? Uh, I mean, at, at this point, that's just gonna be evidence against you, along with your confession. But if you got any pertinent, uh, you know, information that can lead to the arrest of something bigger than what we're dealing with now, then maybe we can work something out, or the closure of something. The seas of something else. I mean, what do you got? Um, Obviously, if you're breaking it and breaking and entering at this point, you're you know, you've now become a hardened criminal. So you probably hang out with other hardened criminals. Mm, not really. As I said, the government screwed me over, man. Well, at this time, you're uh, you're going to be placed under arrest for uh, um, armed robbery, burglary. Uh, since you did have a weapon on you, uh, breaking and entering, uh, and whatever else it is that we uh, see fit to charge you with. Once we get back to the station, we'll figure all that out. Alright, so yeah, there was a Crown Vic back there, and it was towed. There's nothing in the vehicle that I can see. Okay, uh, Nicholas Purton was the RO? Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's, uh, that's who he says he is. Alright, well, uh, the bag, the, he said there was a bag that was, uh, on the carport, uh, right back there. Had all the, uh, all the goods, a laptop, some other things that he took from the house. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm gonna keep oh. that in the main video. I need a Nick? What did I miss? Oh, oh you're gonna laugh. Just to just getting gone. Get ready to laugh. Remember you stole a gold, a diamond ring, right? Mm. Well, they ask where it came from, I'm like, well, if it's the one from the bathroom, to be honest, I wasn't really supposed to, like, you know, talk about it right now, it's not really the time, or, like, you know, I wasn't really ready, but now that it's out, can I have that? I grabbed the cup. But hang on, hang on, hang on, this is what really made it, made me really get off laughing. Like, well, this will be a hell of a way to be proposed to, and then... I grab the ring, and I get in front of him, and I get on, on my knees, and I'm like, try... It's only been three weeks that we've moved in here, but you mean so much to me. Will you give me your hand in marriage and be my husband? <laughs> <laughs> so it turned into a fucking proposal because you stole a ring from the bathroom that we couldn't explain why it was in there. Oh, uh, no one's supposed to see that right now, but I guess, you know, I was going to use that at a later moment. <laughs> but I guess, you know, yeah. Surprise! I, I guess. Well, I can't really get on one right. knee right now. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get you to cuff, sir. That'd oh, be a hell of a proposement. You. Have your house broken into and you get proposed to. Okay. Alright, well, um... If you, you guys got everything, then, uh... Try! I've known you for about three weeks. <laughs> and you mean everything to me. <laughs> I guess today is any better day than any other. <laughs> Will you give me your hand in marriage and be my husband? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's real polite oh. of you, but right now is not the best time. We'll talk about it later. Oh. So it's not a no, but it's not a yes? It will, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Well, well uh, congratulations. Um, just, uh... <laughs> and they come back for me. I don't know, I'll fit in, in somewhere. That sounds amazing, though, fair play. Oh. Well done on that bit of improv. <laughs> oh, dude, it was... Dude, and I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get on my hands and... I... Yeah. No, that was great. <laughs> oh, he had me fucking laughing my ass off right now. Oh, the cops were speechless. They did, they're like, oh, congratulations. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna talk to you over here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you wouldn't really know what to do. I tried to convince the cops that I was the homeowner and you were the burglars, but it really didn't work. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, man, there's two guys breaking into my house. Meanwhile, I'm running around with a fucking machete. Oh, it's okay, me too, but I told him it was a kitchen knife. I don't know where you saw a machete, but I'm like, I don't know where you see a machete, but if your kitchen knives aren't this big, you have issues. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, can I have, like, a reduced sentence or something? I'll buy it off you. I'm not, uh, don't, don't, don't start with that because I'll add bribery to the charges. I'm now not I'm bribing, you, I'm purchasing. What kind of, I will, I'll be more than willing to work with you, okay? But it all depends on the information that I receive. So what kind of information can you give me that's going to lead to something that's going to help the police department out or the sheriff's department or anything? I don't Hardcore know. criminals, any kind of drugs or prostitutions or car theft rings. Or what do you got? Um, I don't really know anything. I was just trying to get a reduced sentence by giving that dude his stuff back. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty much just owning up to the fact that you robbed the man of his hard-earned money, which actually, to be completely honest, um, I really have no reason to work with you because you indeed robbed one of my deputies. You didn't know he was an uh, off-duty officer, did you? No. But I never left his property, so I never technically stole it. Uh, you you entered his property without his permission, with a weapon, I might add. I was cleaning. Uh, well, that's not the story he gives. So just go ahead, stand there, be quiet, take a nap while I get this uh, paperwork process, and we'll get you off the county. And to be honest, Matt, I was not seeing that coming. No, eh? Me neither. I'll be right back though. That 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 must have been amazing. Oh, I was fucking dead ass laughing. I was dead. <laughs> I'm gonna call my video surprise proposal. Why not? That's what it was. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm missing a trick. Call my video. Troy finally got laid. Million hits. What? <clears throat> if I called my video, Troy finally got laid. That seems legit. <laughs> Either that or surprise proposal. Which do you prefer? I like the surprise proposal. I like Troy Finally Got Laid by Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound gay at all. Or Troy and Matthew sitting in a tree. <laughs> R O B B I N G. First comes a burglar, then comes a ring. <laughs> <laughs> First comes a burglar, then comes a ring, then, then goes the man down his knees and saying, I do! No, that doesn't rhyme, you ruined it, what you need I is... I don't give a shit, it's my First, way! First comes a burglar, then comes a ring. <laughs> GT Gamer's glitchy with his really low ping. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good! I like that! First comes a burglar, then comes a ring. Oh shit. Then comes GT Gamer with his... With his really high-ass ping. <laughs> oh shit, Troy's playing with Matthew's dingling. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That doesn't help either! <laughs> Alright, so you're looking at two charges today. It's gonna be uh, resisting arrest uh, while in possession of a deadly weapon. You're also gonna be uh, charged with... Uh, um, you're also gonna be charged with burglary. Uh, where the residence was likely occupied. Um, that's going to be a felony. Both are going to be felonies. You're looking at a $15,000 fine and five years incarceration. Um, so, can I just pay the fine and, like, maybe walk out of here? Wink. Maybe put it in your vest. Wink. You're really trying to add the bribery to your... Uh, no, 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 your, that's your, not what I'm uh, suggesting. What I'm saying is, I'll, I'll give you the 15 grand, fine, and then I walk out of here. I mean, no one has to know. Well, you can pay the 15 grand to the state, you can do your jail time and then walk out. But I'll be old and decrepit and poor and probably have a really sore butt by then. Ah, uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching from me and the two lovely soon to be married <laughs> I can't even say that straight. Soon to be married homeowners Troy and Matthew. 
and we will see you next time. Make sure you check out my Discord where you can keep up to date with me and even possibly chat with me in person. I do occasionally go into the voice chat down there. And I'll see you then. Peace out, guys.